Hello folks and welcome back to my channel, the Scottish Model Railway Guy. Now, what is going on in front of me right now? Well, we've got working traffic lights and if you look in the background, just about here, I actually don't know if you can see it for the trees, but we've got lights there and if you look really closely, in fact I'll shift the train so you can see it, we have got working zebra crossing beacons which you might see better if i do that so what am i looking at what have i done that's different to, to to get a handle on that i'm going to have to go to a different angle i'm going to go a sort of top down angle that i don't normally do but that will explain what all this is doing now i've been through some of it before but this is bringing it together Long and short, I've now got a 3 volt and a 5 volt system and I'm going to show you that directly. So, here we go. So, from the top, as they say, what do we have here? Got a red wire coming out the Hornby controller, ultimately coming into this Wago 221 connector. Let's get 5 ports. And then we've got the white wire coming out to this one, five ports. Now imagine that as your power supply to each one of those Wago connectors, positive and negative. And then I'm taking stuff off that. Now you can see I've took a blue wire to this controller and a much bigger blue wire over to this controller. Why is that bigger? Because I ran out of the skinny stuff. Same with the brown, going to this one and brown going to this one. Now the only difference is, on this power distribution unit, if I can get my screwdriver into it, you can see I can ramp it up and I can ramp it down. I'm not going to ramp it much. Now this one is controlling standard lights. And you can see the brown wire positive and the blue wire negative coming into this power distrib distribution unit. And then all these wires positive and negative going off to different lights so that is circuit one imagine and circuit two is the same and i haven't really connected into the power distribution unit yet because that's not the purpose of this short series of videos the purpose is to show you the working traffic lights i'm going to turn it that way so you can get a better look at it and i'm going to turn the light off a wee second so you can get an even better look at it and you'll see this change in a wee while. Now the purpose of what I'm going to show you is this. Now this is a circuit board that's very, very specific to traffic lights or model railways. So it does the work for you. What I found was that it works best at 5 volts. If it's under 5 volts, the lights get dim, which is fine. You can actually probably see that brightening up a wee bit there. As it changes, it'll go back to red in a wee second. Now wait there a wee while, why is that? Because if you watch these LEDs here at the bottom, they'll actually start changing until this one goes green. I don't know if you could see that, but then it'll change back to amber and then to red. And then the top side will start changing. Unsure if you can see that, but if not, you can see it's going amber or red and amber and then green, which is the British sequence for traffic lights. And then once the top side goes all the way back to red, it functions the bottom side. Once the bottom side goes through its sequence, it functions the top side. It's a stop-go system. So what I'm going to do is, so you can see this, is I'm going to wire up the second one. Now I'm not going to sit here forever showing you how to bootlace these because there's a video for that. Coming up right here, a fantastic series that's one of my most popular. And I guess the reason it's one of the most popular is because people get scared by this sort of stuff. They're, they're thinking it's very, very complex when in actuality the complexity is taken up with the circuit boards. It's more common sense about how the electricity is flowing from there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and then to show you the, the traffic lights, I'm going to wire up the second set. The real challenge is that we've got this common black wire that must go in. Now that's your, your negative. These are all red, amber, green, and then your negative. So each red, 
needs a negative, amber needs a negative, green needs a, a negative. Now what I'll probably do is I'll probably cut this wire and boot lace both of them into that common because I simply can't fit it into that one port. I'll give it a bash but I don't think so but I'm going to do that off camera. But either way, this is where we're going to go with it. Listen, you've came this far, why not subscribe if you choose. Um, you can clearly see I've got some interesting stuff here for your model railway as much as mine. Um, and I would be delighted if you chose to do so. But anyway, I'm away on to do this and then we'll see this working fully at the back end for one set of traffic lights is on stop and the other one's going through its sequence. So here we go folks. And here we have it, pay attention over here in the corner straight away and you'll see it going through its sequence. I'm going to put the light off again and you can see it a bit better. Now as it goes back to amber and then red for stop for one traffic flow, the other one will come on just in a wee second, there's a wee pause and you can see it going through it, sequence red amber and then green and then returning back to amber, getting ready to stop and back to red and then it flips over and that is the purpose of this circuit board now you can see we've got all of these taken up now one, two, three, four, five, six we've got red amber green, red amber green and they all just go to the red, amber, green wires on these little traffic lights. From there, you can see the black wires. I don't know if you can, but each one's got a black wire. Now, originally when I had one traffic light, the black wire just went into this one. Um, but now I've got two. How am I going to stuff two in there? I can't, so I've used a Wago connector. Remember, the Wago connectors are just a common. If you put a voltage in, that becomes spread across the whole thing because they're all joined by metal inside the wiggle connector so as you can see I've took the two blacks in and then this wire here the white one comes out into the common and that's effectively a negative completing the circuit and back from whence it came so quick recap I know I've been talking for a wee while today which is very different for me but yeah well maybe um, but anyway we've got a positive and positive negative coming into these commons or bus bars from each one positive and negative into your voltage regulator and from the big wires into the other voltage regulator coming out of a voltage regulator you get your positive and negative that makes all of this positive and negative and they're all going off to lights in this case the positive and negative regulate into 5 volts roughly for your traffic light controller is coming in there and then all your red amber greens at the top all your red amber greens at the bottom and then ideally both black wires both your commons your negatives would come into this they don't fit so i've took them into this common bus bar wago connector put them clipped them both in there and then took them to this to complete the circuit down the ne negative line and back to the output of the Hornby controller and that is it and I think it's working absolutely fine so this would be part two of the traffic light system part three which is coming up soon when I get time is going to be putting these out onto the layout which I have created an area that I'll just flick to in a moment with some um with some views of the layout so you can see where it's going and maybe some other parts of the layout so hang on folks but again this is the last time we'll be talking in this video so just an opportunity to say thanks for watching this far if you do choose to subscribe please do um there's lots and lots of stuff like this and i'm really genuinely trying to take the fear out of doing stuff like this so yeah here we go folks thank you